Hello there everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Philly B2 and in this video we're gonna be taking a look at the really awesome move Nature Power and if we add the Normalian Z Crystal to it, we're gonna get Z Nature Power and it's gonna be doing crazy 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 results just like this thumbnail entails a fire Pokemon like Typhlosion being able to use water type moves. Now without further ado, let's get right into this and keep in mind this is the Normalian Z Crystal uh, being used with nature power. So let's get into this. So here we are right now. We're in an icy cave So I'm just gonna demonstrate to you guys uh, real fast right over here exactly what happens with icy terrain So we got our Sneasel appearing first. I'm gonna throw out our Typhlosion buddy over here And I'm gonna show you guys exactly first normally what happens when you just use nature power on its own and as you can see, Nature Power turned into Ice Beam. Our Fire Type Typhlosion. Oh, maybe we'll have time to even use a, a Z, Z. Okay, all right. Good thing Seals didn't die. So Ice Beam is going to be happening because the environment. So basically, depending on the environment of the Pokemon battle, is the type of move that the Nature Power will convert into. Now, if we now if we use Z Power, now if we use the Z Power Z Nature Power. It's going to be the same results, but the difference is, the difference is, it's going to be the Z-move of that type. But take a look at this, dude. This is so cool. Crazy stuff, man. So Typhlosion, here he goes. He's going. He's going to do it. Sub-Zero Slammer on a Typhlosion. A move, a Z-move that is not possible is now become possible on Typhlosion. Like, look at that. Oh! Done. Done, done, done. Sneasel is out. So that, that's just an example of what happens in the ice environment. Now I'm going to show you guys exactly what happens in the water environment as well. But as we're going on our way to the next environment in the game, I'm going to pull up a list of all the moves that can happen when you are using the, um, the, the, the nature power. So here we go. These are the types of terrains all listed over here as you can see. We have the building, roads, plain terrains, and link battles. So when you're in a normal environment with no no effects, you're going to be using Tri-Attack. So when you're using Nature Power, it's going to turn into Tri-Attack. And that's pretty cool because normally people use that on a Porygon. But in this case, it won't be, won't be happening. It won't be happening on just the Porygon itself. So that's pretty interesting as well. You could be using it on other Pokemon. So we have the cave. Now, if you're in a regular cave, we were in an icy cave. But if you're in a regular cave, you'll be using Power Gem as opposed to to uh, try attack in a normal area and that's going to be a rock type if you're in the sand dirt and rock environments you're going to be using earth power and if you're in the water environment like we're about to see you're going to be using hydro pump snow and ice is ice beam like we saw volcano is lava plume which does a lot of damage as well if you're in the ultra space zone during the storyline and you use this move you would be using psy shock a psychic attack if you're using the tapus and you have grassy terrain misty terrain electric terrain or psychic terrain just like we have listed over here, we're going to have Energy Ball, Moon Blast, Thunderbolt, and Psychic. So, those are some cool moves as well. And of course, if you use the Z Crystal with it, you're going to be using the move according to its type in the Z Realms of Crystals or whatever the special Z moves are. So, let's take a look at something special here. We're now, we're now in the water, so this is probably the last one I'm going to show you when it comes to Typhlosion. And so, but let's take a little surf here. We're going to encounter some Pokemon right over here. And we got our Finneon appearing. Nice. So just on its own, we're going to first use Nature Power. We're going to see what happens. And there we go. There's the Hydro Pump, just as that list uh, mentioned. So Hydro Pump comes right out of Typhlosion. Like, where does that water come from on a fire type like Typhlosion? It is the lovely nature power that does that. Now, if we, we're going to go swim around again, and we're going to use a Z-move. Oh, oopsie daisy. We're going to use a Z-move that is actually uh, quite impossible uh, to also use on Typhlosion. So here we go. Let's get into a Pokemon battle here. Where you at, Pokemon? Pokemon. We go, we spinning around, guys. It's like when you want Pokemon to show up, they don't show up. And when you don't want them to show up, they show up. But here we go. We finally got an encounter. And we got a tentacool showing up. 
I feel bad for you, Tentacool, because our Typhlosion is about to do something that is impossible to do. So here we go. We got our Z power going on here. We're going to hit our nature power, Z nature power, and check it out. It's going to perform the normal action on the trainer, but of course it's going to convert into something else. Hydro Vortex, man. Typhlosion using Hydro Vortex. You tell me when a fire type is using a water type move. Besides Volcanion. That is so cool. You could you could mess up friends with this, man. You can mess up friends. That's gonna be fun. You gotta have a lot of fun with this move. So there we go. That was it for the Typhlosion thing. But now, guys, let's 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 take a look. Let's take a look at some other things going on here. So we're at the Cerebi website, and we're going to take a look at Nature Power here. The original power points with Nature Power is 20, and like we mentioned, this attack makes use of Nature's Power. Its effects vary depending on the user's environment, and we had this list uh, that we mentioned before, and I showed you guys on screen. The secondary effects attacks changes based on the field and Z nature power, as we saw, changes type to whatever the move or the environment is as well. Now, here's an awesome group of Pokemon that learned by leveling up. We got Lotad, Lombre, Ludicolo, Seedot, Nuzleaf, Deerling, Sazbuck, Amurua, Auroras, and Xerneas. So these Pokemon can learn it through leveling up, which is nice as well. Then we have the TM Pokemon that can have it. Now, this is cool because some of these Pokemon are types that, you know, you wouldn't expect these moves to happen. So, we got Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Oddish, Gloom, Vileplume, Paris, Parasect. I mean, Parasect using Lava Plume? Dude, that's insane. Or even these Grass types using Fire type moves. Like, what? Even having a, an Alolan Golem can use this as well. We could have an Alolan Golem using a Water type move. The Rock Electric type using a Water type move. That is amazing. We have all these lists of Pokemon. We got Onix, Executor. Kabutops, Mew, Chikorita, like we said, we have Typhlosion as well on this list, and I chose to use Typhlosion, I chose to use Typhlosion because it's like, what? Fire-type using water-type moves? And all these crazy Pokemon, a lot of grass Pokemon here, a lot of grass Pokemon here using this. As well, we got some legendaries up on here, got some rock types. So a good amount of Pokemon can learn this, so you can put these shenanigans on a lot of different Pokemon, which makes it really fun to do in the game as well, and the Tapus also can have it as well. And then we have Pokemon that can learn it via breeding on this list, so there's a lot of fun things that you can do with Nature Power. So guys, I hope, I hope, I hope this video was really helpful to you, and you start pulling off the Z Nature Power shenanigans. Go try it out. It's a fun trick. It'll mess up some people. Some people won't even see it coming. You can even try this in competitive play. Also, if you haven't checked out, we have other videos videos on Z Mirror Move and Z Weather Ball. So go check those out. They should be somewhere on screen. And make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Hope this was helpful again for you guys. Have fun with it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if this is going to work out for you or let me know the results, what you got. My name is Philly Beats You and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. I'm out.